In this video I will share how I make a face mask that helps to rejuvenate the skin using raw turmeric, rose water and sandalwood powder. For many centuries turmeric was used in Asia to make the skin feel radiant and glowing. Turmeric is known to have powerful healing properties and is used in many Indian cosmetics. It can reduce acne, skin irritation, rashes and redness on the skin. Even if you don't have any skin problems, it can still benefit your skin and leave it feeling healthy and glowing. Rose water helps to hydrate and moisturize the skin and leaves it feeling smooth. Sandalwood cleans the skin from impurities and can give you a clear complexion. To reduce the color of this mask on your face, you can also choose to add coconut milk instead of the rose water. For the preparation of this mask, you will need a cutting board, something to measure with, something to peel and cut the turmeric with, a spoon, a bowl that you don't mind getting stained, and some rubber gloves. I used a coffee grinder to make the turmeric paste with, but you can use anything you have available to make a paste. Start with peeling and cutting up the turmeric. Always try to find good quality organic turmeric, even if you decide to use the powdered version. One small piece of turmeric root is more than enough for this face mask. I'm using a little bit more here because I like to have a bigger batch in the fridge that I can use throughout the week. The cosmetic benefits of turmeric for the skin when applied regularly are that it can help even out the skin tone, reduce pigmentation and it restores the natural pH value of the skin. The antioxidant properties in turmeric is what helps to reduce the acne. It controls the microbial growth on the skin and cleans the pores deeply. When using turmeric frequently, it can prevent acne from coming back and gives the skin a smoother texture. I put in one tablespoon of sandalwood powder, one tablespoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of rose water. And then mix everything together. If you have any kind of dryness or a sensitive skin, you can also add one tablespoon of oil of your choice. Make sure to wear an old shirt in case some of the turmeric falls off. And start applying the mask on a fresh clean face and apply it on the areas where you would like the mask to work. If you have dark spots or scars, make sure to cover that up with the raw turmeric. Turmeric is known to leave its natural yellow color behind on everything it comes in contact with and raw turmeric is even more powerful in color. So what I like to do in the time that my mask is drying is wash the things that I used. Let the mask sit for 20 minutes. If you are worried about the yellow color you can reduce that time. I waited until it was completely dry and washed it off while gently exfoliating my skin at the same time. If you feel that you have too much of the color on your face, you can try this next method to remove it with. And for this step you will need some coconut oil and a towel. I like to apply a layer of coconut oil on my face and massage the oil into my skin for 2 minutes. Afterwards I wipe my face off with a wet towel. I like to leave a little oil on my face for extra moisture, but if you think your face can break out, if you leave that on, then you can use the towel to wipe off the residue. I would recommend applying this face mask at night, in case it colors your face yellow. The color does fade away in a few hours, nonetheless you want to give your face a good rinse after applying the mask so your pillows don't get yellow too. If you decide to give this mask a try, please feel free to leave a comment and share your experience. Thank you so much for watching.